Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again. Well this week I've decided to come back to a couple of locations that I photographed earlier on in the year, late spring, early summer. But this time I'm hoping to get some similar images but with some lovely autumn colour. The trees along these wooded river valleys have just started to turn some nice colours and with a bit of luck I'll get a little bit of sunlight later on as well and get some nice images but first there's a tree I want to find down in the woodlands here it was a pixie tree as I called it that I found earlier on in the year so let's see if I can find it again Well, that was a bit of a scramble coming down through the gorse, trying to find a way down, but I've made it. And as you can see, here's the tree in some glorious colour. I was hoping for a bit of mist this morning, but unfortunately, as you can see, there's, there's none. There was a heavy rainstorm last night and there's a little bit of a ridge of high pressure at the moment. I was hoping it was going to be colder this morning and uh, form some mist in these valleys, but never mind. We'll look at this photograph shall we so let's try and talk you through the composition i'm trying to get here as you can see quite a nice subject lovely branches just spreading out in all directions and on the face of it all i have to do is capture it all make sure that around the edges of the shot there's nothing poking in or i've not cut off, cut off uh, some of the branches at a sort of awkward place you really want to try and follow all the branches to a nice corner or an end one thing that is getting in the way and it's this uh, fallen tree down here which is uh, cutting off the corner and I think you might be able to hear it creaking at any moment it feels like it or sounds like it's going to fall but not going to help it Let's keep everything natural. Leave it as you, uh, as you came. So let's show you that in camera. As you can see, I've got all these lovely branches spreading out. I've tried to cut out as much of the highlights at the top. And uh, although this is 16 by nine because I'm filming it, this will be a three by two. So I'll get a little bit more of the, a uh, bit more space in at the bottom of these trunks. And also, I've uh, tried to exclude that fallen log in the uh, bottom left-hand corner. So, let's take an image. I've got a circular polarizer on just to uh, enhance the colours a little bit. Not too much though, there's a lot of green in here still. I've pushed the ISO up to 400 because it's very dark in here. And I am looking at the histogram and it's way to the left so still very dark but I don't want to clip too much of those highlights I'm at f8 aperture wise I'm not too worried about the background but I want all the tree in focus and I'm that's given me a shutter speed of one sixth of a second as you can see there's still some movement in the leaves as there was last time I was filming so I can't have too slow a shutter speed and I'm focused in on the main log main trunk should I say on the right hand side okay let's try that
I just had to uh, cover up quickly. That was quite a bit of wind and a rain shower just came across. Always good to have a shower cap with you just to sling over the camera just to protect it. Anyway, just before the shower, what I did do was up the ISO a little bit because um, some of the leaves are still blurred because of the motion. So I'm now going to have a look around to see if there's any other interesting trees. I didn't spend too much time here last time, but now these autumn colours are here. Let's have a quick look around. Those of you that follow me regularly will know that I haven't uh, posted the vlog for a couple of weeks now. And uh, the reason being, I've been having a bit of a crisis and it's all about YouTube. So about a month ago, one of my videos started to get a lot more views and uh, within about a week, week and a half, it was up to 7,000 views and I'd gained over 200 subscribers which is great, you'd think. That's why we do it. Um, well, no, not really. <laughs> what I found myself doing was uh, thinking, well, okay, that worked, so what should I do next? So I started looking at the uh, video that had got all the hits and um, started to work out what I should do next. Also, I'd had a few comments from subscribers, which is nice, um, suggestions on what to do. And I started to try and plan some trips out. But I soon um, started to think, well, I don't really want to be doing this. I just want to go out and photograph what I like doing, like the tree you've just seen. So I've had a couple of weeks just to have a break, reset, and now I'm coming out. So some of the uh, suggestions from subscribers and family and friends have been very good and I am going to try some of them in the future but as I said earlier I decided to come out now just to some locations I really like that I'd promised myself I would come back to in autumn before it's gone okay <laughs> let's move on shall we the weather really has uh, turned for the worst and I keep getting the odd rain shower coming through but I have found another composition which I really like, these twisted oak trees. Wherever you get these boulder fields, you get the trees looking twisted and gnarly. So I've precariously set myself up on some boulders. So having to keep my eye on the tripod and I'm making a square composition of these few trees. So hopefully you can see this little group of trees here, really like this uh, one in the front here. But yet again, the branches splay out towards the sky. All I've got to do is try and group them properly. So let's show you in the back of camera. So as before, obviously I'm filming, so this is a 16 by nine, but I'm gonna make a square crop, cut it off about here and we'll see how far we get up the shot, but you can see what it's going to look like. And obviously I've tried to separate the trees. So those two in the background there, I've tried to just separate it from this one on the left and this one from this one on the right. So it makes a nice leading line into the distance. And then just looking around the edges from about there, to there. Is there anything poking in around the edges? This is one of the branches here that is going out and in the square crop you might see that I might just be including a little bit more of that. Okay let's uh, give that a go. Okay again I've had to put the ISO up so on an ISO 500 shutter speeds of tenth of a second. If I time it right there's no leaves moving. F8, and again, I've turned the polarizer, not all the way around, but I am enhancing the colors a little bit. Focused in 
on this uh, trunk on the right hand side here. Well, hopefully that photograph turned out quite nice. But uh, I'm going to move up onto the top of the moor again now. As I walk down, you could see all the colours of the woodlands along the river. And there was a shot I took from Meltor, which showed the whole river valley and uh, the river snaking round and all the trees. So let's go up to there and uh, see what it looks like. to where I took the panorama of the valley and the trees but I don't know if you can see it's really starting to uh, close in now the weather but I'll still give it a go you never know might get uh, a splash of light shining through and uh, if it doesn't clag in completely I might get some dramatic sky Let's go and have a look, shall we? Well, I'm sure you can see from the rain cover, the uh, weather's really not playing ball now. I've taken one panorama just before the rain started. And I will hang around for a little bit longer just to see if I can get one of these brakes lighting up the uh, hillside opposite. I resorted to taking some handheld panoramas between the showers. But although there were some dramatic skies, the light really wasn't there. So this was the uh, image I ended up with. Not pleased with this really. Just not enough contrast. And as you can see from the very green hillside beyond, I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer for those colours. Well, I think I'm going to have to call it a day. As you can see, there's some more rain coming up the valley. And if I don't take cover, I'm going to get very wet. Well, I did manage to make another panorama, but handheld between the showers. And uh, hopefully I've got a good image. 
if uh, you've had a crisis with YouTube like me and you found that uh, by chasing subscribers and views you started to uh, not enjoy what you were doing then leave a comment below anyway making my way back to the car so I think I'll end the video there hopefully uh, you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a like it doesn't cost anything and if you click on the little bell icon it will notify you next time I put up a video anyway hopefully I'll see you next week bye for now cheerio Thank you.